are you doing today? I'm Mike Harvey, president and founder of Cimarron Firearms Company in Fredericksburg, Texas. Today, I'm gonna to show you a current project that we are working on and uh, we are just kicked it off, so it'll be a while before this gets to the market, but uh, uh, we have a cavalry now that's an early cavalry model that was the, 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 the cavalry model that was shipped to the 7th Cavalry and went to war with Custer at the Little Bighorn. And this is gonna be another cavalry model. I'll tell you about the gun in a little bit, but, but uh, this cavalry model was a little later. It, it was, uh, came out in like 1878 and 1879 inspected by Henry Nettleton uh, as uh, the, the earlier cavalry was was uh, inspected by Ainsworth. Uh, but this is going to be an interesting one as we're going to make a regular U.S. cavalry model from this gun. Uh, Nettleton inspected and we are going to have a scout version of it which will be nickel plated as this one is and we're gonna have a 9th Cavalry Buffalo Soldier version of the gun. They were issued guns in about this era and uh, uh, the 9th Cavalry, they were, they, were, they were our black cavalry units and uh, they were known for their uh, superior fighting skills and uh, uh, they played a, 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 a very important role in the history of the U.S. Cavalry. This particular gun was destined to be a U.S. Cavalry model, but it may not have ever made it because its, it's factory nickel and, and ivory grips are, I, I, would, I would guess that they're factory, but there's no proof. Uh, this gun was probably shipped to Hartley and Graham and company to be nickel plated and ivory grips added very possibly. Samuel Colt was kind of a, uh, oh, he was uh, a, uh, a great guy, but you know, he didn't always follow all the rules. So it looks like he took this gun and probably sent it to Hartley and Graham, had it nickel plated and ivory grips put on it so he could present it to somebody because he was famous for doing this. He did this when they made the walkers. He'd go into the factory at night and take the walkers, you know, out of there. They, all, they were all civilian models because they did, did, didn't want the ones with the military because they were sold to the military. So he would take a civilian model of Walker and go and decorate it and present it to one of the famous generals that fought in the Mexican War. But anyway, he was known for that, that uh, Eli Whitney locked the factory to keep him out at night. <laughs> but anyway, just a little note there. This is serial number 50030, so 50,000. And it was made. It was in. It was made in 1879. Uh, uh, it has all the Nettleton markings, the barrel, the frame, the trigger guard, the back strap, and the left side of the hammer. Note that this is the original Colt spring in this thing. It's like they took them out of Model T's. You know, the pre-Model T's that were, the Model T's back then were pulled around by horses. But anyway, they have very strong springs in them. But it has, uh, it has all of the markings. It has a marking on the cylinder, you know, and uh, the proof mark under the barrel and the proof mark on the cylinder. Anyway, it is a, an original Nettleton cavalry model that ended up with ivory grips and nickel finish. And we're going to take this gun. We've already sent the factory 
It'll be made by Pieta. Uberti makes our Custer Calvary, so Pieta will make the Henry Nettleton model. And uh, uh, we're gonna have all of the marks that are on the original will be on the replica. The cartouche, this particular gun, it has a cartouche on the right and the left grip. And I think, the, I think on one side it has the date. We'll put the company name on the butt as they did when, when, they, when they made them for a certain company. Sometimes they were marked under here. So we will do that for the ninth cavalry model. But anyway, it's gonna be a nice cavalry model. And uh, the cavalry models are one of the most popular guns that we've ever made. Uh, and this will be a great addition to those guns. Thank you very much for watching and uh, tune in later because we have a lot of, a lot of episodes in the making. Uh, I'm going through my safes and rounding up all of the guns that were used by Cimarron to make the replicas of these guns. So there will be quite a few more. Thanks for tuning in.